Liam, let's get in the car. This is the car Liam Carey Luke and his older sister were supposed to grow up with. Their dad, Brent, loved classic cars. And the 1973 Pontiac Parisian fit the bill for the growing family. I'd stop by and Ariel and Liam would be in the back seat with the iPad and books and that's where they spent a lot of time while he was under the hood. Four months ago, Brent and his wife Nicole were killed in a motorcycle collision near Innisfail, leaving the two children behind. They're now with their grandparents. Both kids have hearing loss, requiring expensive hearing aids and trips to Calgary, so the difficult decision was made to sell the car to help cover the costs. That sale was held over the weekend at EG Auctions in Red Deer. They basically stopped the auction, and as you can see on the video, they stopped the auction, let everybody know what, it, what was happening and uh, where the money was going to go, and then we were shocked what happened after that. He has donated the car back. He is selling it again. With the family on the stage, the community stepped up. The car sold for 29000 and then was donated back. And then it was sold for 30000 and donated back. And then it went for 20000 and donated back again. People were cheering. I was crying. <laughs> Our auctioneer, Rod, had a hard time getting through it because he was crying. He was emotional. Three sales totaling nearly $80,000, plus thousands more in donations on top of that. Plus, the family gets to keep the car. The final buyer was Ben Bevins from Bulldog Metals in Red Deer, himself a classic car collector. It had way more sentimental value to that family than me owning another classic car. So I thought that maybe someday that young man will be able to drive his father's car. Facing an unimaginable tragedy, the Kerry Lukes can't thank the community enough for the support and the chance to carry out Brent's wish to keep his car in the family. How do you thank people for something so huge? Tom Vernon, Global News, Red Deer.